Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome back to the front. In the last episode, we began our adventures as the Iroquois, as also we captured the state of Montreal and are now currently laying siege to Quebec. Uh, we are also suffering a, uh, not a deficit, we're kind of probably only because of the casualties we've taken, but we're suffering not so well on the economic frontier, which is a little concerning. But the good news is we are able to defend Montreal from the frog counterattack that has just been launched. And uh, we also defeated an invasion force by the, Lu the Louisianans. So that is uh, quite... Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> that is quite the achievement. So that's uh, looking pretty good so far. I'm quite chill with that. Um, arguably, we could launch a counterattack and attack those guys. Killing their entire army, resulting in the utter destruction of their forces. But that would be problematic. Because the Huron guys, kind of at war with us as well. So I can't quite keep my back turned to them. Though they haven't done anything, but then again, they are quite powerful. You know what? Screw it. I might make peace with them. Right, would you like to be peaceful? Request a peace with them. Uh, of course you wouldn't. Uh, hey, can I share technology? No. I didn't think you guys would be so willing to be peaceful. Tell you what, we'll restock these guys at least. There you go. That way then we don't suffer as many casualties. Alright, we also changed the music now, so it's not the uh, potentially super level copyright that we had previously, which kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, I think it would probably be a good idea to attack this army before it has the chance to do anything, so attack! God damn, that's a lot of ships. Okay, so there we are. Demi cannons and field artillery with a line regiment. So we are now finally encountering, and a very good general, apparently. I mean, my general's pretty damn good, but he might not be that good. We also have the benefit, benefit, the benefit of the town, which is kind of, yeah. Hmm. I don't know how quite to interpret this. Well, I do know how to interpret this. Not very good. But uh, we do have the garrison, at least. I have to admit, even the vanilla game has a good soundtrack. It's one of those weird sort of things about this game that while it is about war and conquest and battle, it Our also... Straight line of units oh my god, I turned you to speaking stuff. This is going to have to be a regular thing because this game has a habit of just screwing over the music. Right, okay, so we have actually another advantage, at least in this respect. We do not have a cavalry advantage, which is regretful, but regrettable. But what we do have is the advantage of a town... And also the fact that my men can stay camoed. Uh, I'm going to put you kind of behind... Oh no, you can't really do anything. I'll leave you standing like here. Behind buildings is probably your best bet. Okay, so you guys... You guys are in guard mode. I'm going to position you sort of to the right. Yeah, you guys... To the... Here. You guys make an extreme right flanking maneuver to the right to deal with that. You guys um, are going to support these dudes. And go on the left, along with the musket men. You guys are going to punch a hole through to the left. Musket men are going to act as your missile support. Because missile support. And the actual missile support are going to stay somewhat near the center, hanging to the left a bit. Right. And apparently reinforcements are coming on the way. Where about are they? Oh, brilliant. They're right there as well. Problem is, though, they may be detected... Yeah, they're not. Det they are already detected. Okay, bad news is that the enemy have not set their cannons up. That's somewhat relieving. Okay, well, you guys are about to get some reinforcements, which is fantastic. You guys move up slightly over to here. You guys move up a little closer to the household. You guys can stop moving. You guys will form up into one big massive cluster. Begin your march that way. Archer Corps will make a move through the town center. I want you guys... They're so good at hiding, I can't even see them. Um, I really want to take care of one of those cannons. 
I really do not want the cannons to be detect. I do not want. I want to get rid of those cannons fairly quickly. Musket men, I want you to kind of push through the town center. It looks like these guys are taking a bit of a back foot at the sacrifice of their cannon. Right, try and sneak through the town. I don't know if going through the town removes your camo value. I'm going to say yes until proven otherwise. But the point is, you are kind of expendable. As archer infantry, you don't really serve much of a purpose except to be the light, like, I mean, talking extremely light garrison troops. Or, you are somewhat useful, and I'm kind of misinterpreting you. But either way, until our army starts attacking, we have no hope. But that said, if we're lucky, we'll get within fairly close range to that cannon before we get detected. We have been detected, haven't we? You walking normally? Yep, you're walking normally. Go, 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 go. Double time it. Get to that cannon. Come on. You guys are also detected. Melee. Right. You, you, and you. They're in a bit of a state of confusion. Okay, double time it. They're running around like idiots. This is the chance to get even with them. Go, go, go. General, move up to the right. Musket men, move center line up to this point here. Double time it. Go, 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 go. They're just about setting up. Don't give them a chance. This could go really well for us. Under no circumstances are you just as chill. Right, you guys. Over there, now. Double time it. You dead? You're dead. Go, 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 go. Right side, right side. No, don't shoot them. Double time it. You, you. Right side, engage that militia. You two. Over there. You guys, double time it into melee. Now. You guys, push a hole, hit the rear of those cavalry. You guys, over there, double time it. Musket men, run there, now. You two, punch a hole to the right. You guys. This is going to be a bit of a harsh battle, but the reinforcements are about to rear bump them. You guys, over there, double time it now. Okay, the cavalry might start doing something in a second. Doing good. Doing good. Oi! Get those dudes. In there. Go for the generals, dudes. Right, you. There. You. Cavalry. Kill the general's bodyguard. You. Focus on the general's bodyguard. You. Double time it into them. You. Double time it into them. You. Run into there and smack whoever you get your hands on. You guys. Move out. Try and help reinforce the line. General. Double time it into them. I think the musket men can kind of take a back foot now. Double time it into that unit. Come on. We kill their general. We might just turn the tide. Pantigax wins the day again. Okay, you guys. Dig a hole into that unit. General will take care of these dudes. Cavalry is doing that. This army unit is routing. Yes! General's down. Good job. Good job, lads. How many dudes are left? 81. Still a fair amount. Okay. One of you units go that way. General, Cavalry is something that's not too important. Except for ones that are lots of them. Oh, God. General, wipe them out. That's the day done. Yeah, we just massacred those guys. Nicely done, guys. Absolutely 
beautiful work. And I'm just going to give my general a bit of a, a boost in stats. Because why not? Ba, 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 ba. La, 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 la. Right, with the battle. Close victory, my ass. We royally stomped them. Not just stomped them, but properly stomped them. Like actual, I stomp on your face, laughing manically while doing so. So we lost about 800 dudes, but they lost nearly their entire army. And they're running away like little girls. Make ready. Why over there? Oh, that just means that they can be raiding now. Yes. Right. You guys get into that settlement. Your orders. Men. Now you can kind of go that All way. Right. Annoyingly, we can't do anything about those dudes except try, I guess. Make your way over towards that point over to there. May the spirits walk with us. Make camp. How are you guys faring? Well, you're about to recover, so that's fine. Well done, guys. We've beaten off the French, but unfortunately, uh... We're going to need to take care of that whole Upper Canada thing. Well, hopefully in the next epi episode... Yes, by the time this gets constructed. Hopefully by the next turn, we'll have been able to do something... Uh, they're probably going to... Yep, yeah, raid. Or are they attacking? Oh, ballsy motherfuckers. I... Kudos. Uh, yeah, might as well. We, we only lost 30 dudes. That's fine. Blech. Okay, that's kind of impressive. I didn't expect the French to just attack like that. But hey, now the Iroquois is safe. Ah, this is the problem. Uh, on one hand, this would be pretty boss. On the other hand, this would be very dangerous. You know what? We're going to try it. If, if worst case scenario, it doesn't work out, we can just withdraw. Like, with what's left. And hey, we also then get economy back. So it's like, worst case scenario, we make money. Nice little polite way of saying, yep, he lost his legs. Right, cavalry. You. Oh, wow, we've even got forests. This is lovely. Not that they can hide, but still. They kind of begin to. Right, okay, so the enemy has a slight hill advantage. Right, one unit of cavalry will form up onto the left. You guys will kind of form up to the middle. And the general will form up over to here. Now, there is no guarantee that this will work. But... If we can catch these guys on the flank, that'll be better. We just need to know which unit they're aggroed to. Okay, so it looks like this dude is the guy army dude that they're taking issue from. Unless... Oh, no, hang on. I wish I could zoom out a bit more. Okay, catch him. This might work. This might not work. This is where it gets risky because they can move up and take shots and my guys aren't in position yet, but we've just killed their general. We've just killed their general. That's important. Okay. God damn this fucking music. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm very tempted in just not having that. And instead just having the soundtrack for other things. We got them. We got them. We freaking got them. Three units on, like, infantry. Right, I'm just going to see how quickly these guys lose their numbers. Damn. I mean, we're destroying this army unit. So is that it? Will the settlement surrender after this? Once these two guys are taken care of, we can then charge this unit. 
Nice, nice. Nicely done, lads. Nicely bloody done. 56 dudes. I mean, this unit is probably taking a bit more casualties than it was. Yeah, definitely taking a bit more casualties. But we are... We are winning that engagement. We're very close to ending this engagement. You know what? General, make your way over to this fight and provide some backup. 83 dudes versus 500 is something that is a little bit... Far-fetched, to say the least. But hey, that's the downside of... Uh about when they have less than 20 dudes we'll pull it on that one 80 113 versus uh 500 that's not bad oh yeah they're gone and we've broken them one unit of cavalry just i mean yes they're fire oh, they're firelock armed citizens i can't say it firelock armed citizenry but still they are 500 of them the fact that they're not very good at combat does mean very little it means very little to me, at least, because it's like, dude, it's like 500 stuff, you know? It's it's quite a notoriously... Right, how are we doing on that? They're getting massacred? Yeah, they're getting massacred. See? Everything's better when you can massacre people. Yep, that's that's the calling card. Well done. Three units on one... Ah! Oh. Sweet. So we lost like 47 dudes and we've Arms. taken Quebec. That's awesome. So the French now no longer have a large contingent on the, on the line. We'll still send some reinforcements to try and keep the, uh, the locals in check. But I'm feeling confident about pushing further south now. Oh, hello. I figured this would be something that they'd do. But that's not the end of the world. We've got Quebec. Once we've uh, stabilized the whole situation in, uh, uh, that's going to be a problem. There has been an eruption of national pride in your home region following your victories on the field of battle. Every time a battle is won... I did not know this. Well, I did know that the population would get slightly pissed off if you kept losing battlements. But I was not aware that they would be super ultra mega pissed. Okay, um, I'm going to send these three guys to come and help watch Quebec. More orders? More orders? What is this? Okay, well, you first disband. Can I recruit stuff? I can. Yeah, we're keeping that. Right, we'll pair you. Repair you. We have no use for you, but we'll repair anyway for the sake of lols. And then we'll have a burial ground? No. Um, actually, to be honest with you, this is the army that needs to be repaired. Badly. Oh, I can't afford it. <laughs> Damn it. How are we doing? No. With that priest in the area. Right, this is a problem. Native American tribe or no, this is a problem. You guys actually need to start making your way over to there now. Because, um... Yeah. Ah, damn it. You know what? We'll, we'll cancel... We'll cancel construction of this. Focus on this instead, because we need the roads. You guys can repair yourselves, because that's going to be fine. We've got one unit of riflemen... We've grabbed a new region, which is going to be fantastic. Money-wise, we're going to be earning a little bit more now, which is nice. And France is at war with Great Britain. This is probably the best bit of news we've had in a while. This is good to know. You are going to get some reinforcements to help defend Detroit, because those guys are going to come down any minute. We're going to need to probably hoik the taxes back up again, but... Uh, the population's kind of getting a bit pissy. But only by one, though. But if we fix things, maybe we'll be fine. Who knows? As I said, this is going to be a case of the whole liberation of the world's going to take a lot of turns. But, 
as always, the start of this particular process is never the easiest. Oh, really? Do I have to run anti-raiding battalions on them? Probably. No, my luck. <sighs> we need to eliminate the French positions on the mainland. Yes, they've got boats, but, you know. We need to eliminate their positions on the mainland regardless. Because they'll just send down these small detachments of soldiers who will just keep screwing around with our economy. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Oh, I just fixed it, you plebs. Right, well, let's increase... Let's build that for a start. You... 250, why not? Uh, can I... Uh, it's just one unit, isn't it? Mm, technically, I can kill them. Uh, ironically, if I had the ability to... Right, I can recruit these guys, which is fantastic. Because we could do with that. Yes. Uh, you guys get over to there. You will fix you. He's going to make a move for our other one. We're more or less ready to go. Somewhat. Uh, I could take that small unit. Oh, it's only like three units, isn't it? Well, you, 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 and you. Attack! Order resolve. Our strength is triumphant. Oh, that's perfect. Order resolves are nice. <laughs> Dead. Make ready. Ready and awaiting orders. Right, okay, that's the uh this this town safe. And we've gained ambushes. Oh you what? No way. That's awesome. Right, you guys are now somewhat safe over there. Which no 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 no. We need to secure this region. This region needs to be secured. Okay, question. If I leave that yeah, I can't leave it. Our issue right now is that we have resistance to foreign invasions, which is annoying. Uh, we are hopefully going to keep the town somewhat peaceful. But unfortunately, the whole Catholicism thing... Yeah, religious unrest is causing the biggest problem. But unfortunately, that little bastard is causing the biggest issue. Uh, and also, these guys can just send troops. No, they can't. Or can they? They can. I didn't realize there was a path, but there is a path. So we need to... Uh, upon fixing this issue... We're going to have to be at peace with these guys for a little bit, but maybe if I can leave a few guys. So you, you could do with fixing these guys up, to be honest with you. We'll have to just take a few bits of it. We'll just have to take a couple of economy hits, but once we've taken care of the whole repression thing. Okay, they're moving, but that's nothing too bad. And also we're fixing stuff, so again, not a problem. I'll try and heal up this army as best as I can, and then we can leave... We can then try and leave um, Montreal, admittedly, slightly down on the whole front line thing, but a little bit higher on the whole. Yeah, it's a bit of a slow process, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, good. Canada has its roads back. Right, how much would it take to fix this? 1921. Okay, well, what garrison units can I leave? I could leave some of the bowmen, to be honest with you. We'll let we'll leave tell you what, I'll take one bowman. There you go, that gives us a bit of a ranged advantage. Still cost me a thousand, but then these guys can just chill. And then can I leave? We will die for the good of our nation. Yes, we seen. can do that. But you 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 in Watch. there, which then allows us to thankfully construct other stuff. There we go. Right, cool. So we can chill. You haven't got any melee dudes. How are we doing? Uh, where is that? Oh. 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 I did not know this. This is good to know. I like. Uh, okay, well, we can take care of that. But what we can do next. Austria, can you not? Like, I know you, you were crazy about this in the last episode. You're at war with Poland, Germany, or Prussia. You're at war with Poland, Prussia. Uh, I'm fairly certain you went to war with another nation, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Otto. Otto Hungarian. Yep, they're there. You're at war with them. Because, you know, why not? You're, you're at war with a lot of people, and that's really stupid. Right, okay. Well, the good news is you guys are replenishing, which means I can then take you guys out to attack that one unit. 
kill them, make our way towards Fort Nash a whack, GG, and uh, nab their base, which I think also we've got a silver mine, which and they've developed it, so good job. Uh, so basically, we'll make a move onto Fort Nash whack and uh, nab it. And that way, they won't have the French won't have any position on the mainland, which then means that front is effectively closed off, except for naval invasions. Which then means we can turn our attention towards the centre and to the south areas of um, and to the south in this point. But don't forget, the British are at war with the French, so maybe the French might the Louisianans might lose territory up there. But right now, I. I'm more aware of these guys, because they're developing and becoming stronger, and I'm not, and I need to get ready to deal with the French, so I have to deal with them quickly. So, you guys, uh, you know what? That's in our territory, and we can attack them. Uh, attack! Really? Our lives are guided by the spirits. Increase the cost. Okay, we've taken care of that unit, and... We've gotten a better yes. commander, so he's becoming better and better. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our way up to the north. Because we don't actually change territories until we hit that point. Yeah, that's going to take some time. Not possible. But that's, that's the whole point of you being there. And then you guys can kind of chill. You guys can start converting over to animalism, which is fantastic because you'll be doing that. We'll fix you in a minute. And technically speaking, then we'll have the ability to recruit cannon. We'll only be able to recruit, like, how many? doesn't say that would be incredible if I could recruit as many as I need because the thing is that's as much as you could say oh you know they get a cannon that's overpowered that's a demi cannon but that's the only cannon we'll get for an exceedingly long time uh, and also that might be the only cannon will be that will be available to us from the outset so it's kind of swings and roundabouts really uh, you know what I might do I might just move up my guys, Onwards. and because this is safe, I've kind of got a flank Awaiting covered. If you want to move in Make the way ready. of that dude, it's only a it's only a militia Awaiting force, so orders. I can take care of that. So you're gonna make your way over to that, and yeah, we're kind of stabilizing the front a bit, which is this is nice. I'm I'm liking this. This feels actually a viable thing. Right now, the frogs may do something. But I'm not sure. I'm more concerned at the moment about that navy. Because thinking about it, this is... The Quebec port is the only port I currently have. But then again, I might be able to... Once I take Louisiana, that will be a problem solved. But I think probably once we've taken care of the French and Louisiana, we'll have to focus on the... Uh... War leader. Immediately. No, that's probably going to take at least a few turns. Yes. Right, you. Attack him. He will be ours. Huh. Alright, well, because this is like a very tiny force, we won't bother recording this, so I will see you once I've taken care of it. And we're back. And those uh, particularly troublesome people are no longer to be seen, which Warriors is ready. really, really nice. So anyway... Well, uh, oh no, we could do with that. You know what? Let's develop that. That's going to be an extra chunk of economy. And we get to develop that. Oh, yeah, we're amazing. Fortunately, we're not that amazing that we can deal with that, but that's okay. So, we're beginning to make our way towards down south in towards Fort Nashwak, which will hopefully give us the ability to counterattack and defeat the French forces on the mainland. Once we've done that, we can then proceed further to the west, whereupon then we can take care of things. Ow! Oh! God damn it, Christianity! Stupid Christians. Don't worry, I'll kill them all when I get the chance. Yeah, those people are very annoying. As I said, we're going to be super vulnerable to agent attacks. And sometimes agent attacks just mean... Well, it just mean what it says. Agent attacks basically mean religious attacks. Because people and religion are the most annoying things to deal with. But still... Hopefully the war against uh, Britain and uh, France is going well, I hope, for them. It's going to be uh, kind of interesting, to say the least. I'm very much looking forward to having that mine 
in my possession. Because, um, yeah, that's going to be a lovely chunk of money. I mean, obviously, once I've taken... Space on your keyboard to stop the movement of your... Yep. And better still, in Quebec, we've got that whole situation resorted. Res resorted? Yes, resorted. Uh, we've got that whole situation sorted. I'm going to... I'm going to destroy the governor's residence because it's going to cause... It's causing happiness, sure, but it doesn't really do anything. And I'm already able to re recruit some other dudes. I'm going to destroy this barracks as well. You're not going to get anything special out of that. Right, let's see what the situation is. Is there a garrison here? Probably. Oh, a very small garrison, only two units. I am going to see if making them surrender would do it. Would you like to surrender? No, you would not like to surrender. Right, well that's just going to be a thing. Is this a fort? No, no fort. That's good. Okay, well once we've taken care of that, the population should hopefully be a little bit more stable. Resistance to foreign occupation. Once we've destroyed that, I suppose it'll be fine. How are you doing? You're healing. That's good to know. I think once I've done dealt with that, I might transfer some guard units up to... I might transfer these two units up to guard Quebec, maybe. Or uh, Montreal. Because then that way we can begin the process. Oh, actually, what I can do with these guys is heal them up. So that way there's a little bit more of a, a middle finger to them. I might then be able to uh, transfer... Hmm. I mean, this is kind of vulnerable, not going to lie, but... Uh, it looks okay at the moment. How many turns do they have left? One. Okay, that'll be good. They only have a couple of units of militia. That cannon's going to be a problem, though. But I think we can tank it. I mean, the biggest problem at the, the biggest problem I can imagine is the fact that we're probably going to have to deal with the mortar shooting at the general. But as long as Pontiac doesn't get too close, I think it's fine. The Pontiac? No Pontiac, I was right. It's only a governor's mansion, but that's going to be a lot of money. Silver mine, extra thousand region. I thank you immensely. And we've got a farm. Which is lovely. Right, so what else do we need to fix? Uh, yeah, you guys could do with a bit of a buff, can't you? 120 on them. They're getting healed. They're getting healed. You have been healed, which is lovely. And we've got roads, which is even better. All right. Let's end the turn. Hello. A trade agreement. Ah, you know what? A trade agreement shall be fine. Ooh. Mmm. We're trading with the Cherokee. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make things interesting. Nope, we're not going to have any interaction with the Westerners. It's going to make things a little harder, but there you go. That's part of the challenge. So, in a sense, it's kind of the Britain versus Europe thing, but only Iroquois versus the world. You know, that kind of sounds nice. Liberation of the world, or the Iroquois versus the world. Hmm. We'll see. But, better still, we've now got a mine. A glorious... Not very well done mine, but a mine, which is, looks like it's halfway constructed. But it does give us some money, which is good. Because we're going to need it. We've already, we've, we've regenerated our troops. So over in, uh, over here, this is probably going to be a thing. Uh, right, we're going to have you, Council of Elders. And the hunting grounds will be, ah, dang, let me guess. Oh, no, no, Council of Elders. Right, well, the Council of Elders will hopefully start converting the region into more prosperous. You guys are going to be regenerating in a second. You guys are going to be... Oh, God. That's a pretty big army. Oh, no. It's the same army. They haven't in... they haven't increased in size, which is a small mercy. Uh, 120. I don't know. Maybe. Uh... Could be worth sending some troops up towards... I mean, Quebec? If I could get... Actually, that's a point. I could try that. We'll try and get some reinforcements to Quebec, so that way he can watch Quebec, 
then you guys can head further down south to perhaps build up your forces. And then we can make a move on knocking out um, the Huron guys, which will mean our northern flank will be covered. At least for the rest of the area. There is this position over here, but they are inaccessible to us. Unless they want to take the extremely long route up. Which could be a thing, but really it's not that much of a thing. And also, in about two turns, the, the Council of the Elders is going to increase our tax income. We've got a burial ground, which is good, but we need more money, so... Siege underway. <sighs> about four till that comes on. You, you say walls. You mean houses. That said, Native Americans. Uh, eight inch. Bloody hell. I mean, the range is pretty decent, but still... I mean, that's a primitive sort of um, 8 inch, so you never know. Alright. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. Okay, so they are attacking. We do have the numbers advantage. But we also do have the whole... Um, we have the nu yeah, it's a numbers advantage, sure. And we can technically sneak, but... Uh, unless we're capable, they have a very good chance of doing some decent damage to us. That's nice, actually. Never to start an unjust war, but never to end a legitimate war. A legitimate one by defeating, except by defeating my enemies. Has a nice little ring to it, I suppose. Okay, so do we have the benefit of a town? We do. Fantastic. Right. You guys will form up on the right-hand flank. You, you, you. And whatever's left of the melee contingent. Musketmen. Okay, you guys will be forming up on the left. Musketmen will provide covering fire from the mid-flow. General, I'm going to have you hang back a little bit because obviously... Uh, Lower the sound effects on everything else. There we go. Right, you guys are going to chill over to here. You're going to try and sneak through the town on the right-hand flank. I want you two guys to uh, make a move over to here. And yeah, let's go. There's only a few of them, but at the same time, they might want to set up properly. Right, there goes their cannon. You firing? You are firing. Get further out of range. You guys, sneak through the town on the right-hand flank. Unless there's some dudes who aren't hidden. No. Double time it. Okay, you're walking. They can see you. Double time it. Double time it. Go, go, go. Reset up, reset up. You know what, you guys? Get close, get close. Double time it. Okay, you guys, rush into them. You guys, rush into them. You guys, melee. Nice first spread. Alright, you guys are chilling out over there. Okay, double time it. Okay. Hero, get over to there. Start doing some damage. Good, you're having a skirmish fight with people with muskets. That'll go really well for them. Taking some shots, but that's okay. Go, 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 go. Right, we're murderizing them. Good job. Good job, good job. Okay. Punch a hole in the rear. You guys, do the same. Right, General's going down. Good job. Okay, General, run that dude down. You guys. Cease fire, you've done a great job. Boom. How many dudes are those guys left? Three. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, this is the town garrison, so it's... They're going to surrender in a turn anyway. 
Right. Counter. Push, push, push. Do not allow them a single gap. Ah, oh, Napoleon. Just not the Napoleon. <laughs> the Napoleon. Uh, yeah, I'm calling it. Well bloody done. That was a nice, quick, resoundful battle. That definitely, definitely was needed. So 600, 110. That's that's a good that's a good casualty ratio. And better still, they're going to surrender in the next turn. So we have got a settlement for free. Woohoo! Well, I say for free. We fought for it, but they have surrendered. We just need to destroy the remnants of the other guys. If left standing in the region of another, an army will automatically inflict damage to the surrounding countryside. This means destroying roads, farms, mines. Right, so over in Montreal, hopefully the anti Catholicism, which probably isn't going to start. Uh, right, okay. I think uh, hunting grounds would probably be appropriate next. Because then the hunting grounds provides... Well, it converts the people to amalism and also it means we get access to somewhat decent dudes. Region captured. We've nabbed that region, which is fantastic. And now we, get, we begin the process of replenishing our numbers. We're going to earn a butt-ton of money now. I say money. But it's, it's a fairly large sum. Fairly large. Uh, right, you guys. Awaiting further orders. Oh, this is probably not going to do much. Oh, but, uh, no. oh yes, fantastic. Right, okay, good. Warriors How are you doing? Advance. Religious unrest is causing a bit of a problem, but the repression is becoming stronger every day. Oh well, I wish the repression Awaiting is stronger every day. No, sorry about that. Right, we'll leave to. Bowman. Yes, you can. Right, we've got an army now. We're building up, which is good. And I think we can start moving. Let's see, which one's quicker? That way is quicker. Right, we'll get some... Well, we'll hold position until this guy is, like, here-ish. And then what we'll do is we'll maybe recruit some musket men, maybe. And uh, that way, then, we can completely begin to focus in on this area here, which is kind of nice. What we'll do for this sector is we'll build the building that increases happiness and also helps convert. So I think that's the... It's it's this building, the burial ground. Because that prov so for some reason, burying the dead makes people happy. I'm not sure it's a pagan thing. I mean, I mean yeah, I would say... Would you, would you say... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a question out there to anyone who's interested. Who is more pagan, Native Americans or Celtic people? Were the Celts or were the pagans more... Cel uh, pe okay. Were the Celts or were the Native Americans more pagan? Not to say that there's an actual, like, v like... Not to say that there's actually a checklist for, like, how pagan are you, but, like... Both did fairly uh, aggressive... Well, then again, yeah, it's... I don't know, it's, it'd be intriguing. I'd like to see who was more pagan. It's kind of like the deadliest pagan, only it wasn't Armies about killing. It's just, um, it's not about killing. It's just about, you know, who's better at taking care of the earth. Right, Chief's Lodge. Well, to be honest with you, not having any kind of garrison here would be nice. And it increases repression. And it increases the tax income, so... Okay, random thing just moved around. Not entirely sure what that was, but sure. Uh, mm. yes. Right, make your way over towards that then. Okay, you need to build a burial ground because then that way the people here will be happy. And I also might consider needing... Right, you are recruiting, re recruiting so that's fine. Our income is going to tank a little bit because we're getting more people again. But that's fine. That is total fines. I mean, we've captured the northwestern, um, sorry, northeastern side of the Americas, so, well, the mainland at least, so, okay, the mainland that's in actual, oh, shut up, okay, we've knocked the French out of America, there we go, 
So uh, the only the only armies slash enemies we have to deal with are the Louisianans and the uh, Huron. But I prefer I'm going to prioritize the Huron because they are an actual threat, unlike the other guys who are just running around like bimbos. I mean, they have gunpowder, sure, but you know any idiot can pick up a gun. That's why certain nations are still alive. <sighs> What's kind of depressing is the fact that, unfortunately, um, I don't have the ability to draw lines on the uh, the single-player campaign. So, you know, basically, in other Total War games, like from, I think, Rome to... No, from Shogun onwards, possibly Napoleon, but I think primarily from Shogun, um, the... Okay, you've recovered, which is good, but unfortunately I'm going to have to keep you there for a couple of turns. Uh, God damn it. Right, well, we'll build you because then you can actually have a purpose. Uh, but no, like basically from, I believe, Shogun primarily onwards, you could utilize uh, a brush tool, which allows you to like drag stuff around. Because this was mainly because of co-op and other stuff, so you can like highlight to your friend. Right, can I recruit anyone? Yes! Musket men, good. Two musket men, head up towards there. You will then move up towards that location and start doing some damage because they got musket men. And I can transfer a few dudes as well, like some of these Native American warriors, to go into there so we can overpower their garrison because it's not just going to be them, it's going to be them as well. And yeah, we can hopefully knock them out of the... We can knock them out and uh, safely hold that lodgings before heading further south towards uh, taking care of the Louisianans. I might transfer the guards from here... I could do a two-pronged, couldn't I? I'd like two armies pushing... I could do that, couldn't I? But then I'd leave this place vulnerable. Mm, that could be a risk I'll have to take. But we could do it. Alright, tell you what. We'll move this army up towards the borderline. And then... How many turns would it take you? About two. Okay, well that would leave it vulnerable for two turns. But there is a garrison there, and... If I'm desperate, I could, like, build up some other stuff. So, who knows? Uh, right, one more turn till the not the hunting grounds are there, which is nice. You're going to be there doing that in two turns, which then also converts the people to animalism, which is building up, which is nice. It's getting there. Like, we're, it's getting there. I think the big thing to think about at the moment is we're getting there. You know, things are going on in the world, but we're doing what we can. We've already secured a good portion of... Well, we've already stopped the French now, so we just need to focus on knocking out the... Uh, knocking out the other guys. Goodbye. <sighs> Ooh, Barbary states. And, of course, pirates. Pirates are going to be a pain in the ass. Once we've taken... Like, once we've liberated the entirety of America, we're probably going to have to then go for the islands, which will suck. Right. Ancestral ground. Something I should have done a while ago, but never really got round to it. Right. Okay. Warriors have been mustered. I am going to begin the process of moving up towards the front. Right. You can attack now, which is good. I could lay siege, couldn't I? But how many turns would that... That would probably be like one or two turns. You can chill. You can chill. I'd say you can chill for the time being. Uh, right, we might want to save, considering... Because, like, now if we're on turn 19, we'll also do the safe save. Britain is fully armed. Holy crap. See, that's the terrifying thing. When they start getting those things... Even though I have access to Sakers already. I love that logic. Right, in about one turn, the population should be happy with us. And resistance to foreign invaders will hopefully go down fairly soon. Especially once this building starts going up. Burial grounds are going to be fairly important. Right. We're just going to have to be... We just need to knock that out. And Once we get that sorted, we should be okay. Also, Great Lakes. What? That's the Great Lakes. You're not near the Great Lakes. Unless, yeah, northwest, 
Atlantic Ocean. When does that turn into the Great Lakes? Huh. Sure thing. Alright. One more turn. And there's no sign of Louisianans, are there? They wish a trade agreement. No. No trade agreements. Anything with a Western... Oh. Hello. The... The Catholic dude is moving further down. I can't see him south, so... I might have made a mistake because I should have been looking at the... Uh... Right, what was zipping through? Zippity doo da, zippity da. Okay, so those guys haven't reacted yet. That's good to know. Oh, we're ambushing as well. Nice. Okay, so they're going towards my territory. Okay, so he's going there. But that's okay. That's a good thing because it means now finally Montreal can start converting. And the people can s begin to understand the wonders of paganism. Right, so you've been built, but I'm going to spend more money on converting you because religious needs to go bye-bye. Ah, better still, Nashawak is uh, roadie. We can actually begin to move stuff again. Right. It's probably going to have to do... I'll do like one more turn before doing stuff. Okay. Your orders? You can They're set up an ambush anywhere you go. I love this. Right. Ha 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 ha. Rats in a cage. Settlement besieged. Great father. Oh, you what? I can't... You're joking. Men, forward. You're joking. Sorry? Siege underway. You're joking. Seriously? How? Settlement How? Under siege. That's not fair. Why? I can. Why can't I move Orders? across the. Seriously. Right, Target cancel that. Under siege. Pull back. March. Pull back. Yes. Set up for an ambush or whatever. I will wait another turn, but that's bullshit. If they won't let me cross because of that. Bullshit. Right. That's really annoying. Britain, why are you in my turf? Again, I'd like to iterate. I can't go into his territory. This, this is even more annoying. Because in, at least in Shogun, or no, not Shogun, Rome 2, you can go into enemy territory without declaring war. You just piss them off. These guys... Am I allied with them? I shouldn't be. If I am, I'll just I'll dissuade it. What one nation thinks of another is ca Yeah, no, I'm not allied with them at all. Like me? There. Yeah, I'm not allied with no one. I'm at war with everyone, almost. But the bloody British are just marching through my territory. This is why. Bloody British. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Now, this does, of course, mean that the uh, Huron guys do have the initiative. So, if they want to screw over my assault force, then they can. I will be immensely annoyed if I can't cross. Um, like, if I have to abandon attacking from the south and pushing. Because the thing is, you can see the whole tickety thing, which allows me to cross the nation. So, if they seriously will not let me do that. I mean... If, for example, for argument's sake, I couldn't cross... If I if I was attacking here and I couldn't cross to there, that would make more sense because the, the nation, like the capital of that area, is right there. That would make more sense. Great no, I can't. This is taking the piss. This is taking the royal piss. The That's retarded. That is really retarded. I can't cross that for some stupid reason. Ready. Right, pull back the defensive lines just so that way we can do something in case something happens. But that is retarded. Because i got to take one, two, three, four, five turns, in a sense. So, no. You, you, and you, you, and you. You are going to split off. You guys can just chill in the base. That's really... I'm not amused on that one. That is so retarded. So, so retarded. Uh, right. Well, that provides more reconnaissance. Reconnaissance? Yes, reconnaissance. 
Uh, you are nearly constructed. Screw it, might as well. It helps convert the region into animalism. Yes! Glorious. It's beginning. The people are beginning to see the light of paganism. Right, how many more turns? Uh, I'd like to think that we could leave fairly soon, but sure. Um, I'm going to assume... No, no, the peasants. Oh. oh, wait, hang on. My policies are still somewhat... No, they're not. They're in the middle. Damn it. Right, okay. Uh, we'll just end the turn. We're going to have to do have a few turns where I sit down and turtle up. Not what I want to, mind, but... Ah, oh, damn it. They didn't develop that region. Oh, well. We have a port. It's in Quebec. And thankfully, we do have the ability to transport troops around. I was actually quite worried at first when I was thinking when I was thinking of redoing this campaign because I never really tried using the navies in my previous campaigns, or at least I didn't try transporting them. The big thing, which I actually haven't tested yet, which I feel a bit of a nunce head for doing so, is um, going re going across the regions. But I guess that will. That's something to... Yeah. It should work. Touchwood. It should work. Okay, so unfortunately we're losing animal for paganism because Catholic arsehole. Yes. That's even worse. Onwards. Yes. I mean, it's bad enough being religious, but then if you hear someone's a Catholic, you're like, oh, bugger. Right, you guys will rendezvous up with those dudes, and hopefully the army units that we've got will be enough. I'm not saying it's going to be a major boost, but it'll be something. Right, well, unfortunately it doesn't convert to animalism, which is a problem. Religious unrest will probably be a big thing, so should I convert this thing into, like, maybe... Yeah, I might have to convert, then I can do whatever I want, really. Right, well, one turn, and then hopefully these people will see the light of stuff in about two turns. Yeah, religion is pretty much the big problem at the moment. Ah, bollocks. I mean, it converts, but unfortunately there's only so much you can do. When all nations but one know. Oh, I probably shouldn't have ended that one. Right. I think we'll have to have another turn because we're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, what can we build? Hive Chief Lodge? Yeah, let's increase that repression. Increase that taxation and repression. Fortunately, for this particular phase of the episode, we're just going to have to roll around hoping that something happens. Like, you know, our forces push out or whatever. Okay, Ancestral Ground. So it takes him about two turns to set up an ambush. That's kind of cool. Okay, well the good news is at least we should begin... There you go. We should be seeing a begun beginning to... Uh... Yeah, it's glorious. Nice. So yeah, we should be able to see a beginning of religion being changed around a bit. Uh, unfortunately, it's not quite there with those dudes. And we've got another nice guy, which is good to see. You guys are just going to be making your way about two turns before we, we finally get. Uh... Your words guide us all. Damn it! All right, so I might have to make things interesting. What's the garrison like on them? Okay, question. You're 160. That's fair enough. Tribesmen is 150. Medicine men is very expensive, but 
Uh, never really knew that, but what's the difference between you? Right, so apparently, oh no, apparently you have a range. Whatever it is, unless you have grenades, which would be love. Okay, well these guys are pretty damn good. They have a range and accuracy, but their melee attack is alright, so we'll see what happens. I'd laugh if they were the grenadiers, if they had grenades, which I'd be impressed if they did. Right, which one allows us to convert to animalism? Of course, it's the expensive one. GG. Alright, well, we'll have to wait then. We'll convert the region to animalism with the whole hunting grounds thing. But, yeah, sure. Alright. This will probably be the last turn of the episode as well. Arigato il farm. But, oh well. We can't all have our way. And this is taking this is taking a while, which is annoying. But hopefully, we should be okay to see. I mean, this is the unfortunate side effect of having these guys is that they have to convert all the regions and stuff, and it's going to be a. I don't know how long it's going to be when we start invading America. We'll have big armies by then because the economy will hopefully not have tanked. But all right, first of all, let's grab Montreal and convert it into a hunting ground, so that way we can be fine again. That's the one that does convert people to animalism. Yep, to paganism. Whatever. Uh, ancestral grounds. This is the happiness meter, so that's going to be okay. We're also not seeing a change in religion, which could be a problem. But the repression, hopefully, will not be so much of a problem. Can I leave the town? Oh, no. Yes, I can. Thank God. Right, okay. Now we can make some business. Right, so you guys... Head out of that region and start heading south towards um, the front lines. There you go. Finally, some progress being made. And you guys March. rendezvous with those dudes. And both you guys begin marching back towards the Huron. Whereupon then you can begin your assault plans for the next episode. So, there you guys go. We've, we've knocked France. By the second episode, we've captured all the regions that France held in America, which is nice. We've also uh, defended against, um, well, we took care of the remnants of the assault, and now we're going to launch an assault on these guys, who actually can be dangerous. Also, they have guns. That's ridiculous. I can also have native artillery as well, which is hilarious. Wait. There's no limits to that. We have to, we have to do something. I have to check something quickly, because I might have just found something amazing. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. This is Mr. Jaeger, signing out.